Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Bark, and welcome back to this, Dragon Age 2, in our quest. Last time, we met a Templar. Is he the Templar? I'm not sure if he's the Templar. I think he is. Let's talk to him. Let me talk to him. Bitch, talk to me. No, I don't want to, I don't want to change characters. Okay, or, 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 or just... Take all. What do you potion? Okay. I can't believe the dark form of which this far so decay. He okay. He he's in like a freaking. Frenzy. Anyway, we have some people we can level up here. We have our mage which we can level up. Let's level up her abilities. Let's go here. Let's go flame on. Okay, or not, we can just go here. Like that, because we're a big boy now, confirm. And, let's bring up her magic resistance quite a bit. Confirm. Bring up his strength quite a bit. We can bring up his freaking Warhammer, Warhammer ability. Because, swag. And now we can continue on our journey. To be the very best, like no one ever was. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, badass with a sword. Oh. Oh, he's dead. He was dead. He's just like over here, being all magey. That is no word. I'm just swagging. Oh, that must have hurt. Oh god, there's a great guy here. Ow. Is there like an archer or something? No, no. Oh, yes, sir. Bolters or Back away. No, just go. No, I, I, I got this. I got this. Almost. Oh god. What's not trying to light me on fire? Battle commentary is amazing. What's this? Rebels. I got an amulet. Let's see what that does. Uh, let's see what the Hurlock dropped. A dark spawn armor fragment. And an injury kit. Uh, dead refugee. What? Health potion time two. Hurlock 99. What is it? I'm not even sure what the hell that is. An injury kit. Cracked wooden shield. I'm not sure why. Why is this so good? <sighs> I have a feeling that temp that freaking Templar dude is just gonna kill us one day, one of these times. There is another dead refugee. Or paper he has. Um. Oh, more people. Okay. I. Whoa. What is? What are you? What are you? You. You need to die. You need to die now. You need to die. Kill it with fire. Wait, are these? Are we fighting like actual people? Oh no, no, no. For a second there, we were fighting actual people. That was. I was really concerned. For a What's the, why is the Hurlock Rock have better armor than the Hurlock? Than the Horlocks? Hurlock? I don't know. It, it, this is a really hard thing to pronounce. Now, obviously, if you guys haven't figured it out already, this is going to be. Oh, yeah, leveled up. Quickly, before they regroup, we must press towards the wilds. We must press on, man. Sorry. Watching way too much Checker Conway lately. Dead Ooh, a treasure chest! Not going to happen. 
Nope. Okay, my dog's here. I don't want to be a standing target. Ooh, another dead refugee. It is said that in the midst of the Black Age, when werewolves stalked the land of Fedorian, the numbers that kept even farmhold that kept every farmholder indoors and hung in every doorstep, powerful Arl of the Amari people stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His uh, his airlink stood on the border of the dark forest and the southern border of the forest. There, you guys can read this. I'll pause. Oh, if you guys want to pause it. I'm not, I don't wanna. There. I can't do that. Why not? Can you do that? I need more than five hertz to do that. Do you think so? Point. I'll be on your guard. I'll keep watch if you need to stop. No, nope. okay. We have a shit ton of people. We have everybody wants everybody needs to go with Sir Doc. Sir Dockerty. I guess I'm supposed to level up me. Um hmm. Um my willpower, my constitution. Let's look at my health. Warmonger, defender, vanguard, two-handed. Warriors two-handed attack rip through the air with such power that that each generates a shot wave past the planet and past effectively extending the war oh. That looks nice. Um I'm just gonna level up everybody's I should probably spirit elemental. There we go. Uh, I'm just gonna level up uh actually I'm gonna level up his his cunning because he needs it. And he's obviously a very one handed, he's obviously a two handed uh, user. Strength, um. Full power, constitution, why not? Uh, okay, that's everybody. Now where do we go? I keep thinking up here. Where are you? Mother! Why my why is my mother why do I bring my mother with me? Oh. You soulless bastards. Whoa, okay then, um... What? Um... So I this motherfucker up and just kill my brother. No, oh, back, back. Oh wow, the ogre already dead. That was. I was expecting the ogre to be a lot more of a. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Carver.
At least father will have company now. Flames. We're too late. With the death of a with the death of the brother, that that sucks. I I, I I'm not sure how I feel. My brother just kind of got sliced in half by a fuck by that wrecked ripped in half by an ogre. Dragon time. Never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Wait! You can't just leave us here! Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> If only a clever tongue was all one needed. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? King Kalen was betrayed. There's nothing for me here. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Anything you could do for us would be appreciated. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde, in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered? I have... an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily. You're not without your own needs. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. 
I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. How much trouble will this delivery be, exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. That's a lot to ask without telling us what this involves. It's nothing more dangerous than one so capable can handle. We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> uh. No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. We can't afford that kind of liability. No! The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar? Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. I'm sorry, Aveline. This has to be done. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the Champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you.
that's where their ship landed. With all the rest. Well, that was sure something. <laughs> um, so, I guessing the dragon is not helping us. Dragon lady. Dra the dragonborn, if you will. Um, this will be interesting to see what happens next. This is taking a really long time to load. I'm yawning. Oop, more cutscene. Just like. anyone into the city what that can't be it's true look at them all they're Pereldans just like us fleeing for their lives and they would throw us all back to the wolves unbelievable I'm only surprised they let us dock we need to find Gamlin our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay, well that was a shorter journey than I expected. I was hoping we would have fight some more stuff. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a middens keep. There must be someone in charge I can speak to. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Where to go? Where to go? I'm guessing we have to go this way. Were you familiar with every Templar and Lothary? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? Oh, found them. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. Surely there's a bit of extra room for the pretty people. I find keeping my neck away from Knight Commander Meredith Blade far more attractive than any of you. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. There must be something we can work out. No foreigner can enter unless they can prove they have coin to bring into the city. You mean a bribe? Technically, the Viscounts ordered that no one enters. You want to be a special case, you have to be special. That's outrageous. 
It took all our coin just to get here. You want eyes looking the other way? That takes convincing. And the price goes up each day this continues. Surely there's someone higher up that we could persuade? The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days. They just got here. That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men! I knew this would happen! You're right. I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Don't look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband. Dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. I'm dressed to guide him. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril... I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. 
All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. So, we've made it into the city. And, uh, well. There's a bunch of dead people around. We knew with their bodies. No, we can't at all. But, it looks like we gotta talk to some people. Hey, let's talk to the merchant. I've, I've already, already told, told you. you. I can't, I can't give you any more. Anymore. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Ferelden's poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. Uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> she didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? I'm sure they'd rather not sell what little they have left. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the prophets help with the guilt. I don't need anything. As you wish, Sirrah. So guys, I'll end off this episode here. It's been 30 minutes. So I will see you all in the next video. I'm not sure why I did that. The dude just kind of imprinted my sword away. Okay, now I, I will see you guys.